for ICC at the Nets feature semi-final time. Pressure situation in here. Got an optional training today and three boys fighting for one spot perhaps right in behind the rear. Mayank Agarwal is uh, just having a net in this one. Dinesh Kartik alongside him. If we just move across, I mean, we might not be able to see him. Kidar Jadav is over in the corner over there as well. So these three guys all having a net, maybe fighting for that one middle order spot in the semi-final against New Zealand. Real pressure time, but I tell you what, the big boys, the big boys are having a day off because they've worked pretty hard throughout this tournament. No sign of Virat Kohli here at the moment, no sign of Rohit Sharma. Uh, Bumrah is, uh, is not here, even Jadu. And then we've got Emis Dhoni, Ravi Shastri over here. Bowling coach as well, just having a little word, maybe looking at team selection for this uh, very important contest tomorrow. So, just milling around, all in pretty good spirits. I think practice is just winding up here from an Indian point of view. We've got Kuldeep Yadav and uh, Yuzvendra Chahal just having a bat over here. So the spinners doing battle and the big boys, the big boys have been in. These boys are fighting for one spot, I think. DK, first of all, how, what is the day like before a, a big semi-final? Has it changed or is it just a normal routine for you? We try and keep it as normal as possible, you know, we try and, uh, you know, in our minds uh, prepare like we would for any other game. So, you know, we try and keep it as simple as we can and uh, you know, as cliche as it sounds, we try and take it, you know, just like another game. Personally, for you, how's the, how's the practice been? Oh, it's been good. Uh, the wickets have been kind of challenging because it, it's doing a bit, it's nibbling a bit. So if the wicket is uh, anything like this in the middle, then, you know, it's going to be uh, a little bit tilted in towards the bowlers. Some left arm spin going on here, some big tall right arm quicks, um, a couple of left arm seamers as well. So it's a specific practice for New Zealand, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Look, they have a, a good left armer and they have some right arm medium pieces. Some who bowl sharp, some who nibble a bit. So they've got a bit of everything in their variety. So we try and prepare for, you know, all sorts of bowling and, you know, they're a good bowling attack and I'm sure, you know, they'll come and give it their best shot and uh, we'll try and uh, answer them the right way. Are you enjoying it? Oh, definitely. Look, it's a World Cup and uh, everybody's enjoying it. It's, it's a great uh, tournament to be a part of and, you know, obviously it's a big uh, it's a big day in everybody's life to be a part of World Cup and uh, I'm just happy to be here. We're about uh, 200 yards away from the surface. a massive stand here. It'll be chocker with Indian fans tomorrow, I'm sure. But um, it's played quite well, this pitch, hasn't it? It's been quite quick. It's been full of runs as well in the last game. So you're looking forward to this contest? Oh, yes, I think, you know, South Africa played uh, Australia here just a few days ago. And this is a big scoring contest. 300 scored on both sides. It's going to be a good game. Uh, you know, two good teams, uh, you know, uh, against each other. I'm sure it'll be a very good game. Right, well, we're going to have a little, we're going to have a little scrap now. I mean, it's India, New Zealand. It's always a good game. Thanks very much for your time, mate. Thanks, Outstanding. Lassen. Always. Well, New Zealand's task is monumental when it comes to the semi-final. Their form of late hasn't been that great. The loss to Pakistan started a bit of a downward trend from a New Zealand uh, point of view. But they have to believe they're in another World Cup semi-final and they have to believe. Kane Williamson has to get something out of his troops. Is it a day? Is it a day for a Martin Guptill special? We haven't seen that in this World Cup so far. He's trained hard. He's working on a couple of things with the bat. He knows this Indian side, as do all of the New Zealanders. They were out in New Zealand last summer playing One Day International. So this New Zealand team know exactly what they are up against. Yes, it's world class. Yes, they have Jasprit Bumrah, who is probably the best white ball exponent in the world. Rohit Sharma off the back of those 500s in this World Cup so far. They are a tough opponent, but New Zealand know exactly what they are going to face. Now, in, in the stand here tomorrow, it's probably going to be a sea of blue. There'll be 8,000 people up here. There'll probably 7,900 of them will be Indian fans, and they'll be screaming for their team. That's what they want to see. But New Zealand have to believe. They have to find a way to believe that they can do something. Very jovial. Their training is always good fun. They work hard. Gary Stead, Craig McMillan, they put in through the paces, but can they find a little bit of belief? Lockie Ferguson back through the middle, taking those wickets. That's what New Zealand will be looking for. Williamson, Guptill, Taylor. Specials up the top. They need runs from them. And then they need Bolt and Ferguson to fire with the ball. That's what they've been training for. That's what they're looking forward to. Huge semi-final. Great opportunity to move through to a World Cup final.